women's rights group demonstrated outside the headquarters of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals today, protesting the group's, quote, degrading and exploitative treatment of women. PETA has come under increasing criticism for its ongoing ad campaign featuring nude or semi-nude women in sexually provocative positions promoting veganism or opposing the fur industry. They make women strip down, put vegetables over their genitals, and subject them to hours of photo shoots. No living creature should be treated like that. Joining us now is Marsha Astley, director of Women Deserve Better. Uh, Ms. Astley, you call PETA's treatment of women cruel and inhumane. Yes, I do. Each year, hundreds of women are forced by PETA into the most horrifyingly degrading acts you can imagine, holding live animals against their naked bodies or being shackled and put in cages while photographers snap pictures of them. Uh, it's horrible. Well, you're especially critical of PETA's live protests. Yes, we're we're I am. seeing some footage of those here. Look at these poor women. They're made to stand outside all day in the wind wearing nothing but lettuce leaves or yes. wear a gray bikini and pretend to be a mouse stuck in a glue oh, trap. Look at that. Just so PETA can get coverage on the local news. Now, let me just uh, play devil's advocate here for a minute. Sure. Is it really worth it to spend so much time protecting these uh, basically clueless women? Uh, they may not even comprehend what's happening to well, them. Brandon, once you see the torture a PETA volunteer lives with every day, how can you not help them? You know, some are fed nothing but lentils and not dogs before performing on the Howard Stern oh, Show. Coach to talk about how vegans' vaginas taste better than meat eaters. We're looking at some undercover footage that your group has uh, shot. Yes, we snuck a camera into a PETA office and saw proof of an upcoming ad campaign that was so sexist and shallow, it's hard to believe it could happen in a civil nation. But we're not just making a point, we're also taking action. Well, we're starting a new program this month to rush PETA protests, recapture abused women, and take them to a farm where they can live out their lives in peace. Well, good luck with your cause, Miss Astley. I appreciate that. Thank you for having me. PETA released this statement in response. We have no intention of changing our tactics until every last animal on the planet is given more respect than women. Now, when we return, the Onion News Network welcomes Maurice Sendak as our new courtroom artist.